<clears throat> hey everybody, what's up you guys? Uh, I wanted to check in real quick because number one, I finally put together the free desk that was on my uh, on my trip home one day. So there's a lot of super glue that went into that to hold it together because it's just the three bottom parts and then the top part is all one piece, but it's really heavy. So my boyfriend kind of helped me out a little bit. Um, so hopefully it does good. I don't know what I'm going to call her yet, but I hope she sticks with me forever. Um, the other thing too is I haven't really done much. Um, I got all of the uh, caster cleans together. So it's just got to shake and then it's for after your castor oil um, session. And it will help clean off your, um, your abdomen from all the sticky gooiness of the actual castor oil, which I do have in these little two ounce bottles so and then there's instructions on these two and the ingredients um i do have to put the fda sticker on there saying that it's not fda approved so like most holistic topical stuff um it's, it's not going to be fda approved but anywho so yeah it has the right warnings the directions on there i don't know if you can see that um has this shelf life of 12 months external use only and keep away from children because we don't want them drinking that shit um the other part too let's see i haven't really done much over here um i do have my little ribbon area down here about some big ribbon so that way i can tie everything up so that way it looks pretty for you guys um i ended up getting new caps for the mason jars um and i think they look fine you know, they're not too far off the, from the pink that I needed. Um, stickers are wonderful. I'm glad that I went with the um, product label because I think they're more vinyl, vinyl-ish. I don't know if that's a word, but I just made it up. Um, but there's more vinyl to them than the regular um, paper sticker. So that way it doesn't like peel off super easy. Uh, pretty much that's, that's it. That's all I got going on right now. Um, right now I'm going to go cut the ribbon so that way everything matches up so I'm not wasting ribbon and it still makes it look good that it wasn't like skimping because as you may know, I don't know if you've watched my other videos, but I want these to look absolutely amazing so that way when you who wants to get pregnant opens this box, you feel good about the process that yes, we are fucking poor. We cannot afford IVF, which is the whole point of putting this entire box together. So that way, with our efforts that we're trying to get pregnant, because for some odd reason, life fucking hates us. And now that we want babies, everyone's just like, yeah, not really. Not even. So anyway, um, I don't know if that was too much swearing or not. I, I do swear a lot. So I'm going to try to keep that to a minimum, but I'm not going to not swear because not going to change my personality, but I am running a business at the same time. So maybe I shouldn't swear as much, but at the beginning, I don't think it really like counts or matters or whatnot, you know, because again, it's something that we all feel. Um, and I just want to say it. Cause like, yeah, this shit sucks. Whether you have like blocked tubes from what's it called <laughs> from scar tissue. So for me, in my instance, I have blocked tubes from scar tissue because back when I was a fucking teenager, I decided to have sex without a condom and got chlamydia. And at that time I had the IUD. So guess what the chlamydia did? Latched on, crawled all the way up into my fucking uterus and then caused all this damage and whatnot. Um, another thing that you might have is um, inflammation. So inflammation, this should i'm not i'm not a medical professional can't make any promises i'm not giving medical advice i have no idea what the fuck i'm talking about but i have watched a shit ton of videos and what they were saying is that you know like with the castor oil that it should help with the inflammation should help with blood flow and blah 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 if you go if you go google it or if you go youtube it you're gonna find women out there who said that they've done castor oil packs and that the shit works um i don't think it's gonna um, I think be as beneficial for mine because mine's actual, it's not inflammation. It's the scar tissue, which is kind of harder to get rid of, but that doesn't mean that 
my tubes aren't still inflamed if it was, oh my arm's kind of hurting, if it wasn't for that, for that issue because I am overweight. Um, I weigh about 200 pounds, which is probably about 40 pounds too much. But so it's like me even losing weight and trying to do this. It's like maybe they won't be like, maybe my tubes are like so blocked, like it's like that. And then if I lose weight, they go like this or like, you know, they'll open up a little bit completely opposite of what I'm talking about. But it's kind of like if there's two things going on there and one of them I can help, I'm going to try to fucking do it because I get it. IVF is expensive. I understand why it's so expensive, but that still doesn't change the fact that I'm fucking poor. So, um, yeah, which is why I wanted to do this because I was tired of getting all, for those of you who don't know, um, I started this because when I was looking up castor oil packs, you have to buy all these different things. You have to buy a flannel, you have to buy a mason jar, you have to buy the castor oil, you have to buy the hot water bottle, you have to buy like some plastic shit to put over it. So that way the flannel stays on there and it soaks it in and all that goodness. So I think that was, that was everything I named off. Um, that's in the castor oil pack. Oh, and then I got some castor clean. So that's just, you know, all of that goodness. But anywho, so yeah, that's why I started this business. That's why I started these boxes because I want to make it convenient. So that way you're not fucking shopping around to all these goddamn places. And yeah. So that's why I did this. And that's what this is about. So I'm going on about seven minutes right now. Um, but yeah, that was just a quick check in because if you look at one of my previous videos before I was laughing hysterically at like 1030 at night because I was driving around and I saw this bad boy on the side of the road for free. And yeah, since I'm poor and basically I have no money because all of my money's in this, I was like, oh, free desk. I like free shit. So, anywho, yeah, um, I go, the launch date is July 1st. I'm kind of regretting having my move-in date with my boyfriend on the 1st as well. Uh, but then again, if life's not crazy, then I feel like I'm being lazy. Um, I didn't mean for that to rhyme. I'm not a rapper. Um, KRS1, woot woot. Um, <laughs> I'm such a dork. So I just, I wanted to go live and I wanted to just give you guys an update on what's going on. You know, I have this whole mess like everywhere. Hopefully these um, bins over here, not bins, the empty spots get filled. So that way it's easy for me to do my little assembly line. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, July 1st is when these are going on sale. They're going to be going, I haven't priced it out yet. So maybe that'll be a surprise, but um, I'm going to try to make it as cheap as possible because, again, we're some broke bitches and we're doing this for a reason because we don't have any money for fucking IVF. No knock against IVF at all. I completely support it. I love people that do it. I love that there's like the success rates and all of that goodness. Um, I'm just saying like I can't go down that path because I don't, I'm not financially able to go down that path. So please don't get me wrong that I'm against IVF. Um, I just want to make things easier for people who are broke like me. But I'm only going to do 100 boxes because I have no idea what the market is for this. I don't know what the supply and demand. I don't know anything. So if you do want to buy one of these boxes, go to trimester.com, T-R-Y, Mester. Um, it is a play off of the trimester in pregnancy because we are trying to get pregnant. Hence the try. I thought it was cute. I fell in love with the name. Um, but anywho, so trimester.com, go sign up. That way you can get notified when they will get live in case you forget or whatnot. And then, yeah, I'll say, I'll shoot you an email. Um, it'll go live July 1st. Again, only 100 boxes, but if they sell out, like, I think that's the one thing that I'm scared of. I was talking with my banker today and she was just like, what does success look like to you? And I'm like, I have no fucking clue. Um, I know that I'm making these hundred boxes. I have no idea if I'm going to restock. I don't know when I would have to restock. I don't know if I should restock. Um, all I know is that I have a hundred boxes and if they sell, then I'm going to make more. Um, I think there's opportunity for me to expand into other aspects of TTC community. Um, so hopefully this goes well. Um, if not, it's something that I can look back on and say like, Hey, this was an idea that I had because everybody has those fucking ideas where it's just like, man, 
this one product or X, Y, Z would make my life so much better. Cause like, while you're doing it, it's something, you know, about dishes, you know, somebody was sitting there doing dishes and they're like, Oh, I hate having to stop and put more dish soap on this rag. And then hence that little tube where you put the dish soap in it and then it's scrubbing and it's constantly redoing it. Like somebody had that idea because they're like, this is an inconvenience. So for me, this was my inconvenience and hopefully I will help solve a lot of inconveniences along this journey. Um, there's so many other ideas that I have, but I can't get to them until I sell these boxes. So if you want one of these boxes, go sign up and then buy one on July 1st. I will mail them out within three to four days after I get your order and it'll be great. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. All right. I guess I talked way longer than the five minutes that I thought, but if you stuck with me this far, please, please, please subscribe. Um, like the post, share the post. Um, I'm also on Facebook. Um, I haven't done anything on YouTube. I think there's two videos out there. This might go on there as well, but the more follows I get on YouTube, the more it'll be better. So that way I can have, um, at my trimester for all of the social media platforms. But right now I'm kind of sticking with the Instagram, um, because I like the hashtag. I like that I'm able to do a lot of that stuff, but anywho, yeah. So stay tuned. Bye.